all the way back in the field. There was somebody racing somebody all day long. Yeah. Some of them boys could come out and had to comment, the car is terrible with brand new tires. Yeah. And it takes a while for them to come in. Other cars were good on brand new tires. But we but, do agree on one thing. There's three good cars. And the was, rest, three, three, they was, then there was some average cars, yeah. and then there was some bad cars, <laughs> yeah. and then there was some real some bad real terrible cars, cars. Where we, yeah. where our cars <laughs> fit in. But To me, it was the most interesting race I've seen all year because there was somebody racing somebody all the time. It looked like they just had some asphalt and they just put it where they <laughs> kind of where they wanted to, but uh, from an airplane shot. Yeah. But uh, leading up to it, there was so much tire problem. Well, on, on Saturday, the uh, in Bendy Corps, they had a lot of trouble with it, and and I was worried about the Sunday race because I thought they'd have a lot of trouble. But and was, they did. Well. Yes and no. Okay, they did, but nothing like what I thought it was going to be. And the longer they run, I think, the better the track got. They tore up some tires in practice, too, Richard. Yeah, 20 laps, yeah, yeah. and then... But then anyhow, that, that, I, I think when everybody started the race on Sunday, they were they didn't know what the tire deal yeah. was going to be after watching Saturday. But yeah, I think everybody just went ahead and run, and then after they run... Um, we had what a couple of a couple of tire failures before they before they had the cutoff deal, and uh, you know I think what three or four different people had tire problems, and the rest of them didn't have any. Yeah, you know Boy, that, but, that was hard to understand. But anyhow, but we've the, been we've been through tire problem yeah, too, yeah, but not but, not but to anyhow, this that, extent. You know, all right, let's but, get down to the race. What do you think okay. about the race? Okay, there's a good Ford, a good Toyota. And a good, a good Chevrolet. Right. The Chevrolet got in a wreck, the five car, whether it was his but fault or something. Basically, somebody. the five car was probably the best. Then the 12 car was the next best. And then the 20 car was the next best. Well, the 20 car at the end of the race was the best car. Well, but was, it took him a while to get going. Well, no, the big deal was that they run along there, and I don't know where everybody was at, but they – Somebody scraped the fence a little bit, and they had a caution. The 20 car had already made a pit stop. Yeah. Okay? And that put him a lap down. Okay? He made his lap up when they threw the caution, but he had to start at the back of the field. Yeah. And he worked his way back up to, what, fourth, but I think. He finished fourth, yeah. yeah. But he but, was, he but was he, coming, he, Richard. He was the best car because he was running faster than the front cars, and they were in the open, and he was passing cars. He was cars. passing cars for but position. But the deal was... It killed his race when they throwed that caution. And uh, but anyhow, those were the three best cars. But he, talking about the twenty car, he was in a backup car too, Richard. Yeah, he didn't crash. He, done, on he crashed on yeah. Friday. Well, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but you know, just watching the race, uh, they they raced a little bit for first first place, but it wasn't really that good a race for for first place, but. Back during, all the way back in the field, there was somebody racing somebody all day long. Yeah. And he, I mean, the very last lap, and people were, were trying to pass each other. For, yeah, for, a for position, position, whether it was 15th or 20th or whatever. But So from the, me watching the race and stuff, um, it, it, it was interesting because somebody was racing somebody all the time. And... The way the track was, they could run three abreast if they had to. Yeah, and yeah. they did a lot. And they did. Yeah, but just just looking, just look at the good cars, Richard, that got lapped. I know. I know. And and yeah. uh, well, I thought the forty three was going to be on. He ran real slow, and I thought he was going to be all be okay with the tires and dead gum. He didn't blow a tire. Yeah, mess up the front end. Yeah, I was just talking to the engineer yeah. there, and he. There's there's a little bit tight that time, and that's the indication you're going to tear up the right yeah, front. Right. So yeah. the cars got the cars that really didn't have no tire trouble had to be balanced pretty good, Rich. R- really good. But you know I mean? here's another interesting thing at at Josh Berry in that four car, he is up there leading and doing real good. And that last caution come out, they all come in, and the twelve car got two tires. Got two tires. He got left, he, but he got left side tires. Are you sure? What did I say? I, don't, I believe you're wrong. I ain't going to argue, but I believe you're wrong. But <laughs> but the four car got four tires, and he he went back to seventh place. Yeah, I know. 
And but at one the, time, some, he was dominating. Some, some of them boys come out and had to comment, the car is terrible with brand new tires. Yeah. And it takes a while for them to come in. The other cars were good on brand new tires. So just just to have according to how they had to set up on the car. But we but, do agree on one thing. There's three good cars. And was, the rest, three then, really, they was, then they were some average cars, yeah. and then they were some bad cars, <laughs> yeah. and then they were some real some bad real cars, terrible cars, kind of where, we, yeah. where our cars fit in. But uh, yeah, I thought... I mean, there was some of them running almost slow enough. I thought they was going to black flag them. <laughs> you know but if I mean? you but if you thought Denny but, Hamlin would get lapped that yeah, early, I know. And uh, yeah. you know, I'd have bet the but, farm against but that, the, but he but did. Really, uh, the the deal was it was probably the, the Fords. The, I guess the Chevrolets and the Fords were pretty even. The Toyotas really wasn't in the race except. For the twenty car, yeah, the rest of them just yeah, really they got blowed away. Yeah, qualifying or practice yeah, anything they wasn't the, yeah. Toyotas up but there. But I tell you what, they, they were, those people out there was, I mean, they were people everywhere. I mean, even on for Friday yeah. for the Arca race, they they was almost sold out. Or the place was full anyway. And then Saturday it was full. Sunday it was full. I mean, and you know, watch the deal. They, they, they threw the checker flag and had us. No, nobody had left. I mean, they stayed. Everybody stayed till the thing was strictly over with. You know, a lot of times races will go two thirds of the race. People start leaving. They didn't. Nobody leave out well, there. Well, Blaney. They said Blaney had about eighty f- family members there, and they was worried, worried how they was going to get all the tr- quick as it's over. I I turned to the to the uh, so, uh, the baseball college baseball game and. Uh, well, I missed I didn't that. See it. Okay, <laughs> but the, the airport in the background is that where the big plane? Did you no, land? No, no, no. I we didn't had, think they could. The, we had to land in Des Moines. Okay, and it's about forty-five, fifty minutes okay. to the racetrack. Uh, when we used to go out there with our own plane, then we we just land right there yeah. in the golf course yeah, and drive over that, the track. Yeah. And that was really neat. But they, but you've seen some big cornfields, didn't you? <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. You they, know. they told how many acres or tons of corn. But not only that, we eat corn, well, but it's in our gasoline well, that, too. <laughs> that was what the, that was what the race was about. Yeah. Was advertising corn that went in to, to the fuel. Yeah. So uh, you know, all in all, I think it was really round up. To me, it was the most interesting race I've seen all year because there was somebody racing somebody all the time. And I don't know if they could pick it up on TV or not. You know. Well, it might have been interested in you, but I believe you was wrong on what size tires the the okay. twelve car. All right. So we'll we'll you'll get some calls on this. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. but we're going to lobster country this coming Sunday, so both of us are going. So. And do you like lobster? I never could afford it. My my fish was <laughs> sardines. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see everybody next week. Call and find out who changed tires. <laughs> How much you want to bet? I ain't got much. Okay. Okay, what did y'all say? You Left. Say? Right. On his final pit stop, Blaney got just two new right side tires. His crew chief, Jonathan Hassler, said he was surprised more teams did not go with two tires on the final stop. Get a picture. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's two things. I was right again or right as usual. <laughs> No, the way it wound up, it made a really good race out of it because uh, everybody had to run on the, the two groove deals. But yeah, the cars ran three abreast. I mean, the track was good enough, and they paved the track where the really cars really need to stick. And they said they they had a tire test out there, and uh, it was already paved. But when the cars went back, they run a, run a second quicker than what the tire test was so that's one of the reasons why they had a little bit of tire problem to begin with yeah we've we've seen it before i don't in the early 60s sometime at nashville we used to go there and practice they'd close the track down for a couple of hours and then have us come back and run the race that night and we was leaving they was digging out a patch in the first <laughs> corner 
And I said, this Saturday evening, how are they going to get somebody to pay that? They didn't. They couldn't find nobody, so they put them pieces right back in. <laughs> and during the driver's meeting, they, the driver said, what about that hole over there? They said, just drive around it or through it. Don't matter. <laughs> so we had a race. You know, I think he, he probably wanted to retire last year. There was some scuttlebug about him doing that. And uh, so, you know, I guess I guess he thinks he's probably done as as much as he's going to do in cup racing. Uh, I mean, you know, like last year he led led the point stand and going into the last ten races, and then just had a terrible ten races, lost the championship. So uh, I think he's probably just sort of getting getting tired of doing the best he can, and not being not finishing better than what he's doing. I. I, you know, I admire what he's done. I, and off the track, I think he's got a good record, you know, and what he's done with helping people. And I don't know that much about it, but he, he's he he's been good for NASCAR, and he, I'm, I'm sure he's made a good living out of it. And he just, he'd like to enjoy the fruits of what he's accomplished other than racing every Sunday or Saturday. <laughs> Oh yeah, they'll, they'll definitely get another race uh, because the fans turned out. See the deal with Iowa; all the fans have to go somewhere else to the race, and so all of a sudden the Cup stuff is going right in the middle of a bunch of race fans in Iowa. So uh, I don't. I think uh, def, definitely will be there for the next couple of years anyway. Yeah, it was it was an interesting race and. Um it, uh, I see no reason in the world why it won't be on the – maybe. Soon. I don't see why they'd take it off anytime soon. 